So this changes when you have unbalanced forces or if your resultant force is not zero. When there is a non-zero resultant force on an object, the sum of the forces that push or pull on the object have a resultant of more than zero newtons and this object will accelerate or decelerate, changing its velocity. Acceleration can be calculated by this formula shown. The formula is part of Newton's second law of motion. The net force acting upon an object is equal to the product of the mass and the acceleration of the object. The direction of the force is the same as that of the object's acceleration. Wow, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? However, Newton's second law can be summarized into force is equal to mass times acceleration, or simplified, F is equal to MA. So for the units, M is in kg, A is in meters per second squared, and F will be in newtons. So one newton is the force which produces an acceleration of one meters per second squared when it acts on a mass of one kg. So now let's give this simple example a try. Please pause the video here and do the question. Now let's go on. So the answer is F is equal to MA, would therefore be equal to F over M if we rearrange the formula. A will be equal to 10 newtons divided by 5 kg and therefore we can find the acceleration of this block will be 2 meters per second squared. If you are picky about it, this acceleration is a vector and therefore you actually should say it will accelerate at 2 meters per second squared to the right in the direction of the force.